My name is Henry. I grew up in the kitchen baking with my mom. As I got older, I lost interest and went to go explore the world. Now I'm home trying to reconnect with my roots. This is Baking With My Mother. All right, welcome back to Baking With My Mother. She's already in a bad mood because I forgot to turn on the mic halfway through, so. <laughs> because I said a lot of good things in that last take. Well, and uh, I just talked a lot. Yeah, and I'm just gonna talk this whole video. <laughs> to recap what you missed, because I had to delete it because we didn't have the mic on. <laughs> I um, just snorted. <laughs> a lot of people came to my mother's aid, saying that she doesn't talk too much, so we're just gonna <laughs> let her ramble on throughout <laughs> all of these videos on nonsensical things. What? Which is totally it totally fine. makes sense. If you were listening, you would learn so much. We also didn't make a video last week because she had a book launch, so we were really busy with that. It sucked a lot. I mean, I did have a book launch, but that's not why we didn't make the video. So he's just blaming it on me. <laughs> um, but I did have a book come out. Yeah, but the book came out last week. <laughs> uh, very exciting. Yes, People, uh, the recipes actually work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is great. Oh, I love you, child. Okay. This week, what are we doing? I lost the page. Damn it. I mean, darn it. Okay, so this week we are doing a recipe from Bake, but Bake, Bake from Scratch by Brian Hart Hoffman. That's a lot of bees. Bee, 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 Brian Hart. <laughs> Bake from Scratch by Brian Hart. Oh, oh now you're you're screwing me up. <laughs> okay. This uh, actual recipe we're doing is the soda bread pizza recipe by Darina Allen. Yes. Who you went to Ireland to meet. Yes, with and, Brian. And, and made And baked from scratch. And we actually made this recipe. And it's dynamite. Do you and have really any easy. recipes in No, I don't think so. I haven't read the whole book yet, but I don't think so. Okay, well, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's. I've got all the ingredients ready. Super okay. easy, super quick. So let's do it. Let's grab them. Okay. All right, these are, these are all of our ingredients. Mm -hmm. Very simple, we got baking soda, salt, flour, buttermilk. Okay, um, what kind of flour? All purpose. Yep, great. It's, I've never actually done this, so what we're gonna be doing is sifting everything into this bowl, creating okay. a well, yeah. and then folding it in. I've never actually done this before. Is this, I've left this out for like 15 minutes. No, it's good, okay. it's totally good. Um, so we've got our nice sifter here. Okay. Um, Are you trying to figure out how to use it? A little bit. <laughs> so just put it in the bowl. Wait, no, 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 look, look, this is so much easier. So you can, but are you supposed to whisk all the dry ingredients together first and then sift it? No, you just sift them all into each other. Okay, because they need to get mixed up. So put some of this in. <laughs> yeah, in a large bowl. That's okay, that's together. okay. We're gonna sort of whisk it with our fingers once it's all in there. Yeah. Okay, so now I bet you can guess what to do with that. Oh, that's good. Mm. The nice thing about this thing is that it sort of blends all the flour and stuff yeah, together. Yeah. You just talked about how easy this thing makes it. Because right. usually what you have to do is whisk it all together first so that the baking soda and salt are just sitting in one spot. The issue is I, I didn't, I was supposed to grind, it was supposed to be finely ground sea salt. And yeah. I did not do sure. that. I used you might just have to tap the last There you go, that's good. But we got all our salt down there. Just dump it. <laughs> oh, it's just coming straight up the top. All right. It's everywhere. It's like a this, is that going to make a real huge difference? It doesn't matter. Just sort of blend it in with your fingers. Oh, it's all nice and. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to yeah. create a well now. Yeah, the it's thing good. is. Nice. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to pour about. I have one and a half cup in there. And but we're going to pour like one and one fourth cup. So we're going to leave a fourth cup out. Okay. In. And then we're going to leave a fourth of a cup in here. Oh, okay. And then if we need more, it's not the right consistency that okay. we can. Okay. 
Do it. Ooh, they don't actually have a fork. What do you mean? Yeah, it's there. That looks good. No, it looks A little not. more. That's too much still. That's still. Um, You can always yeah. add more. Okay, so now I don't know how to do this. What did they describe to you? They said fold it in. Okay, fold it in. Okay, so usually what I do is I take my hand, like claws almost, yeah, and that's, just that's what they said. put some in and then work around to the edges. Um, and did they describe what the consistency would be? I can tell you exactly how they described it. Um, also, um, our- Until a softish slack dough forms. Okay, so we're not quite there yet and we are gonna need more um, of the liquid. So while I'm doing this, instead of both of us getting all dirty, just drizzle that in. So this is so interesting. There's no butter, no oil, no fat whatsoever in here, huh? It's just butter milk. Well, I mean, is it the butter milk? Yeah. Sort of substitute. Yeah. Oil Did, milk? Is it whole milk or um, butter milk? Butter milk, but there's um, low fat butter milk and whole milk butter milk. You know what I mean? And the whole milk butter milk will have more fat. The other thing is that our flour is pretty dry. Did you weigh this flour or did yeah, you? Yeah, I weighed it. You weighed it, okay, yeah. good, perfect. It is, I also, the other, so the other thing. Does it say you might need some more? Liquid? The other thing I'm realizing now is it says whole buttermilk and we're okay. using low fat. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. So I think we're gonna need, although this is starting to come together, like, mm -hmm. um, but this is not, I wouldn't consider this really slack. Yeah. So I would say we need a like, little more buttermilk. Yeah, maybe another tablespoon or two. Okay. So go grab that, and I'm just gonna keep at it. I don't want to overwork the gluten in the dough, or it might get a little tough. Mm. Okay. So yeah, a couple more tablespoons. What is, so what does a slack dough supposed okay. to look like? You know what? Um, since you just said that, I think you should get your fingers in here so you can feel it. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mix it all together but not really work it too much because I'm trying to prevent the gluten. You know what gluten is? Yeah. What? Don't put ah! me on the spot like ooh, that. Ooh. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. What is it? What do you think it is? It's the, I'll tell um, you. I'm not going to I'm cutting this out. No, 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 come yeah. on. No, because people will want to know. Okay, so the gluten is the protein in the flour, and it's what makes a dough stretchy and gives it structure, right? Mm -hmm. But it also makes it tough, so you don't want to overdo it. So that looks great. That's what I would consider like sort of a slack, wettish dough, right? Okay. Yeah. And that looks great. Like that's going to come together. Now, what, do we put it on the counter or what do we do? Um, turn, uh, turn out dough onto a lightly floured surface. Okay. And knead lightly for a few seconds. Okay. Shape into a one fourth. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna knead it out onto a lightly okay, go, floured. Okay, let's clean up All right, and, gonna... and get our stuff together. Right, okay. Ready? Yep. So, lightly floured? Yeah, okay. put everything away. Let's just get this. So, okay. I'm just gonna pull this out of here. Yeah. Shh. This one go out. Okay, and lightly knead, it said? Yeah. Okay, so to lightly knead, we're just gonna fold it and press it forward like this. Uh huh. And then rotate it and get some more flour and then do the same thing. I'm not like yeah. really jamming it. I'm just sort of lightly doing that. So do that a couple of times. If it's sticking, do we have a bench? Yeah, use the bench scraper and sort of scrape all this good stuff up into it. And I'll let the poodles out. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I've, I've kneaded it for just a few seconds. Yep. We now have to shape it to a fourth inch rectangle, okay. which it's almost there. Well, kind of. that's not quite a fourth of an inch. But do you have enough flour under there because you don't want it to glue to the... Yep. <clears throat> okay. Here, let me show you. Because you... Yeah, there you go. Pretty so you want to throw some yep. flour. Well, what you want to do is you want to get rid of these sticky bits. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your dough is just going to re-stick to it all. So get rid of all that and then put down some fresh flour. And that way... Because your dough looks really nice. Okay, now what you want to do is very lightly. Don't press too hard and make sure that you're getting some flour on the top so your pin doesn't stick. Yeah. And just really lightly press it. Don't like no more. Okay. You know, because you don't want it to stick to the pin and you don't want it to stick to the counter. There you go. And keeping, trying to keep it in that rectangle shape. Yeah, so we're supposed to turn it into a 12 by 9 inch shape. Good. So that we can fit it into this pan. Okay, and how are we supposed to prepare the pan? Um, I'll tell you in one second. Okay, <laughs> that looks good. Now, one thing is just making sure that it's all the same thickness so that mm -hmm. it bakes evenly. And then if it's sticking to the counter, you can always just use your bench scraper to get it back up. So that looks good. And a little more flour. What's it say? We're going to brush with extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so that looks good. Yeah, just drizzle some of that. I'll roll this out for shape. This looks good though, bud. Good. Then we'll press into this great thickness. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it looks great. Okay. Perfect pan for it, too. Yeah, looks good. And you got some up on the side so it will stick. I mean, the more olive oil you put in there, the better it's going to okay. taste, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, in my estimate, well, there you go. <laughs> in my view, you really can't have too much olive oil. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, this looks good. That looks good. Okay, so Let now we're just, are we just gonna drop that in there? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's what I would assume. You might wanna consult with. Well, yeah, I looked at it. It's oh, okay. <laughs> but how, so how am I here, gonna put this in like here? Like this, fold it, nope, here, fold it, and then you can just lift it up and unfold it right into the pan. There oh. you go. I never even thought of that before. Sometimes you kind of learn something. There, like oh, look at that. You Not only did you learn something, you admitted that you learned something. Okay, All right. that looks that awesome. That looks awesome. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, beautiful. that looks great. Okay. Fits so, right in there. So I'm going to wash my hands up and grab the stuff for the sauce and the toppings. Perfect. I'll clean this up. All right. Here are all of our beautiful ingredients. We have uh, goat cheese. Mm -hmm. Well, you grabbed half of these, so. But for, for the sake of the audience, goat cheese, uh, tomatoes, Italian parsley, parsley, Italian parsley, right? Um, front, you, you said Italian parsley and I imagine. <laughs> Italian <laughs> parsley, green, I said, I was about to say French onions. <laughs> I was thinking French onions too. <laughs> Italian. Gr green onions. Um, my grandfather makes a tomato sauce that is incredible, so we just. Uh, Super awesome. What's it called? Immersion, Immersion blended. blended. Mm -hmm. And then some Parmesan and some and that's chef. That's mozzarella. Right? Mozzarella yeah. and chef. We could do uh, We could do too. Parmesan. That'd be nice. But for now, we have mozzarella. What do you want done with these? I'm just gonna Talk cut these that. out quick. What do you wanna do? Sure. sure. Great. And um, then, so what, just, should I put some sauce down? Or? Yeah, so the sauce goes down. I'll okay. let you put that stuff on. Sure. Our parsley and our green onions oh. aren't actually gonna go on until after. Okay. Until, you mean after it comes out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so sauce. That's and probably then, enough green onion, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's And then, okay, sauce, 
cheese. What else goes here? Because we're doing, um, but you could do anything, right? You could put any toppings on here. Yeah, you could really put, so on in the book, they actually call for different toppings. They, okay. they are using chorizo, um, a, a type of mozzarella that I'm absolutely going to butcher the name of right now, <laughs> called... This should be fun. <laughs> Bocaccini, I think. Okay. Um, I'd, feel free to tell me how badly I did on that one in the comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, they, they call for all different stuff here, but... This okay. is sort of so what then we what? had and also what we what we like. Um, yeah, I'm thinking throw throw some cheese on there. A couple of hunks. You like a lot of cheese, right? Yeah. Okay. A couple of hunks of shove. Alright. It's creamy. And then I like these um, cherry tomatoes on mine, so I'm gonna put that. Yeah. I want some shove too, but on my end, I'm gonna put the cherry tomatoes because you, you like them or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, like you can throw them on mine oh, too. Oh, great. Okay, I wasn't sure if you did. No, that was a very nice. Yeah, and I like the fact that they're the on the stems like this, so they're pretty. Oops, I guess I can just you can do work around it. Right? Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. Okay, and then that's for after. Do you want to put some Parmesan on, or do you want to just? We can no, do that I, when honestly, it comes this out. Honestly, looks, this looks great. This is a nice. It would be a good sort of like oil. light oh lunch <gasps> pizza. So good. Yeah, this looks can really I just, great. I'm just gonna finish this off. It's not that much more. I was gonna say. Well, oh. So. For the for just snacking, you mean? Okay, there. All right, this that looks awesome. It looks really good. It does look really good. Yeah, I wonder if I can. Okay. I can sort of see without dropping it off. Beautiful. So we're gonna throw this in the oven at 450 for about 15 minutes. That's it. And then it, we're well, and then we're gonna drop it down to 400 oh. and let it bake Got it. until okay. the until the cheese is browned. Okay. So I think that the original 15 will bake the I'm gonna bread. Go, Let me just look in here to make sure. While you're doing that, I'm going to grab yes. a couple more tomatoes. Perfect. Yeah. So we're going to throw it in 15 minutes at 450, reduce to 400 for another 15 to 20. How many tomatoes are you putting on here? Just a couple of gold spots. Right there. All right. Okay. There. Looks, looks awesome. It does look awesome. Wait, I need more. Okay. This looks great. I got our oven preheated. I'm gonna throw this in. It's okay. nice and heavy. It's gonna make a good lunch. Incredible. So yeah. we're we're not gonna throw this stuff. Let's put it on the board first because we might have to tilt it a little to get it out of there. Yeah, okay. So, so and I should just mention in the book, they just sort of cut it in the pan, but we're not allowed to have nice things and William what? Sonoma actually sent us nice things, so we're not, we're not allowed to have nice cut things. Into it. What are you even talking about? Like that's a meal, dude. Yeah. That's yeah, that's. Sick. It came out. Let's see. It's like thick. Ooh, slick, right? There we go. That was all our olive out. oil. Yeah, that's the olive oil. Oh, it is so beautiful. Burnt oil. All right, so I'm just gonna drop this green onion on there. Okay. And some parsley, right? That is, that looks It looks amazing. really beautiful. I like the cherry tomatoes too. I love how that looks. Yeah, you're a big fan of doing that. Actually. I know, I know. 
I mean, the little sticks, obviously, you have to deal with that, but it's just so pretty. So, usually we cut into this right away, but one, it's burning hot. Yeah. Two, we've never actually done this, so we gotta get some pictures of it. So <laughs> we're actually going to be right back, <laughs> and then we'll cut into this, <gasps> taste it's it. Stunning. But it, it looks incredible. Yeah, it really does. It smells great too. Yeah, and I was, I was gonna say it's a great, I think if you did it a little smaller, you could do nice little lunch. Individual yeah, ones? Individual yeah, individual kind sure. of things. Yeah, you could do it like right in a cast iron pan. Yeah. That would be oh, nice that would too. be awesome. Yeah. All right, let's get some. Let's get some pictures. Feed the it. camera. Feed the camera. Okay, so we we've actually already cut into this. We realized that the card on the camera was full. More technical difficulties, <laughs> but this is this is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, super easy, super quick. Awesome recipe, all around. Yeah. We'll definitely be doing <laughs> I can't this even more. Talk. Just like shove food in mouth. Yeah, but now that uh, your book's launched, we can go back to our regular schedule. <laughs> <laughs> so every Wednesday, um, like, subscribe, leave a comment. We really appreciate all the love we've gotten so far. This has been really fun to so do. Fun. So yeah, we'll be doing it again next week. This is so easy. I mean, kids in college dorm rooms could make that. Yeah, this is you know really, I mean? really easy. I feel like this is such a good meal, and it's so beautiful, and you could do anything for toppings. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, so a, it's a great recipe. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you guys. Mm.